My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. The 69 Camaro is amazing. It's set up for the track. It has a full custom chassis underneath, a Fab 9 rear end, giant bare brakes at all four wheels, got a 540 big block under the hood, four speed trans, and it's downright gorgeous. It has the Rally Sport Super Sport package. Look at the stance. Check out the killer wheels, $7,000 forge line wheels. This thing is badass. Go to volocars.com. There's a lot of specs you can read, uh, pictures top to bottom, and that's where you'll find the price. Not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you will be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, though, buckle up, join me, let's go for a spin. Yeah, underneath this car is pretty amazing. I'm going to refer to my cheat sheet because there's a lot going on, but it's, it's a full chassis, I'm going to call it. Uh, up front, it has an $8,500 Detroit Speed front clip under there. Uh, it's a hydroformed uh, subframe. It's all powder coated. Um, give me a second to find it. Tubular control arms, fat ones too. Tuned coilover shocks, Torrington bearings, splined anti-roll bar, composite bushings, forged drop spindles, and a tuned rack and pinion steering. Now the frame connectors are actually cut into the floor. They're welded, so it's part of the car. The frame connectors connect the front subframe to the rear suspension. The rear suspension is probably the beefiest, most heavy-duty suspension I've ever seen in a 69 Camaro. It was custom built by Teddy Hauser Race Cars, uh, completely re refabricated back there. It has big fat uh, tubular control arms, uppers and lowers with another one in between them, uh, all sorts of big metal supports welded in, uh, and it also has the adjustable coilover gas shocks. Bottom of the motor is an anodized oil pan, uh, high torque starter, Muncie transmission, uh, the shift linkage looks new, it all looks fresh. The rear end itself is <clears throat> a Fab 9, that's a Ford 9 inch, <clears throat> excuse me, also just very substantial, just big, I mean it looks like it's an armored tank. Uh, with welded tubular supports on it. Now the exhaust, it's, it's three inch or bigger, <laughs> in back it almost looks like four inch stainless steel exhaust, magna flow mufflers, uh, upgraded bare brakes, it's got big drilled and slotted rotors, they're huge, and the red calipers are huge. I'm going to guess they're six piston, at least in front, uh, but I don't know that for a fact, but judging by the size of it, I think so. And what else have we got underneath this car? Yeah, the floors are just super clean metal, all painted gloss black. There's no rust. They did mini tub it because them wheels in back are extra, extra wide. So it does have mini tubs. Everything fits right up in there. I don't see any rub marks on the tires. Matter of fact, I drove this car home and back and never had the tire rub on me. So even though it's squatted down and the wheels are five times wider than the original, uh, everything seems to be working out just fine. Now the body, the fit and finish is outstanding. It's laser beam straight from every angle, painted Le Mans blue. All the gaps are real nice. Uh, the metal flake is laid out evenly. It's all the same color everywhere. The clear coat's polished like glass. I did notice, if you look for it, there's a couple little, little spots back here. You have to actually move your head around to find it. A couple little spots in the paint, something happened there. Obviously, it has a Stinger hood. I love these hoods on Camaros. We just sold a Nova with that hood. I really like that. And then it has the stripes painted on here and on the trunk. You don't feel them at all. It is the Rally Sport. 
Everything up here is all new, and it has the Detroit Speed upgraded electric motors on the lights. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Uh, they, they open and close real nice. And then all the emblems and trim and marker lights, all the stainless moldings, the mirrors, the door handles, that's all replaced. This has the exterior trim package. That's the rain gutters, the louvers, and the wheel well moldings. The windshield and the back window are new. The side glass is good original. It has power windows in it, believe it or not. Tail lights, bumper, uh, all new. The reverse lights are mounted down below on a rally sport. Normally they're up here, so that's correct. Real good solid trunk. It has a fuel cell in here. The fuel pump, the filter, it has nice braided uh, fuel lines. The battery's relocated to the trunk, it's bolted down, and there is a disconnect switch. When you pull down the license plate, you can kill the car. And this is all painted real nicely, new weather strip. Pretty much from carpet to headliner, the interior has been replaced. Uh, the carpet, looks like the tracks that the seats are sitting on are new. Uh, new deluxe upholstery, new headrest, all new door panels, armrest, all new power window switches. New deluxe wheel. The motor, 540 cubic inch big block, <clears throat> has ported aluminum heads, a Brodix aluminum intake, uh, a new Holly carb. They're pretty cool. I Googled it. It's anodized black. Uh, big dual feed Holly carb uh, with nice black fuel lines and fuel fittings, all premium stuff. MSD ignition system. Long tube headers, front of the motor has a one wire alternator, chrome timing cover, modern chrome power steering with the remote reservoir and the braided stainless hoses uh, going to the rack and pinion. And back inside here, the door jams are real slick and painted, all new weather strips. Uh, the headliner, visors, mirror are new. Uh, dome light works, the center console's new, the dash pad, uh, all the trim is new. Does have a retro stereo, but over that three, three plus inch exhaust system, uh, you're gonna be listening to that. The mesh speaker tray, all the trim in here is all really nice. It's got VHX uh, Dakota Digital gauges, they're nice modern gauges, they light up blue. Heater controls look to be in good shape. Has speakers down in the kick panels as well. So it's got uh, all painted gloss black, all really nice metal, nice billet hinges. Those are like 700 bucks. Has an upgraded Detroit Speed wiper motor. It's nice and compact. Has some beautiful tall valve covers with a chrome trim on each one of them. So you got a beautiful uh, motor compartment here. Aluminum radiator, new fan. Uh, new shroud, it's got the horns. <clears throat> so let's fire this bad boy up. That's a high performance motor. You've got to warm this thing up for a minute, but I drove it home. It, it ran fine. You stop at the stoplights and all that. It, it just will idle just fine. It's just not warmed up yet. You've seen that the headlights did open and close. I, I did want to tell you, this is 
this seems like this thing's built for the track. This thing will go out and handle and stop and corner like you wouldn't believe. It's got a clutch in it. You let that clutch out, it goes. So this isn't for around town in the traffic uh, is what I'm trying to say. This is a real muscle car. I'm gonna start it one more time. All right, now it's idling on its own. So there you have it. This is the real deal. It's a bad boy here. It's a monster. Probably the most impressive chassis I've seen on one in a long time. Go to volocars.com. There's plenty of ways to contact the salesman. I just gave you my impression of this car. If you have specific concerns or questions, they can help you with that. They can get this delivered anywhere in the world. We can get you financed. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you click on that bell icon, you will be the first to see the new ones as they're posted. Thanks for watching.